With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Here we have a question from the chapter waves. A copper wire is held at the two ends by rigid supports. At 50 degrees Celsius, the wire is just taut with negligible tension. If Young's modulus equals to 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter square, alpha equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 per degree Celsius, and the density is 9.2 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. So we have to find out the speed of the transverse wave that are being formed in this wire at a temp new temperature that is 30 degree Celsius. So to solve this, we know that the transverse wave in a string have the velocity equals to under root t by mu where t is the tension in the string and mu is mass per unit length. Now in this case why will the tension be produced? It will be, be produced because initially the tension was zero but after some time the temperature of the temperature of the wire has been decreased so due to this there will be a stress in it and due to this stress a force will be produced. So let us first find find out the value of delta L. So what you know that delta L that is change in length will be alpha L alpha delta T where L is the initial length into alpha into delta T. So from here what we will get delta L equals to the length of the wire that we have been given is equals to L itself because we will have to assume it no value is given in the question. So L into alpha, what is alpha? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 into delta T. Now the temperature is decreasing from 50 to 30. So delta T is equals to 20. So we have our delta L comes out to be equals to 20, 32, 32 that is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 L. So we have found out the value of delta L. Now the other relation we know that the Young's modulus of a wire will be given by the stress upon the strain and what is stress? It is tension upon area upon what is strain? Delta L by L. So putting in the values from here we can find out the tension. So tension will be equals to delta L by L into Young's modulus into area so delta L by L we have found out it is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 L and L will cancel out each other into Young's modulus what we have been given is equals to 9 sorry 1.1.2 1 into 10 to the power 11 into the area we have not been given the area of the wire so let us assume it to be A itself so from here our tension comes out to be equals to 3.2 into 1.2 that is 3.84 into 10 to the power 7 into area A. Now the next thing we have to find out, we have to find out the mu because we have already calculated tension. So to calculate mu, mu is what? Mass per unit length. And how can you write mass? Mass can be written as density into area into L area into length will be volume and density into volume will be mass divided by the length L so L and L will cancel out so you can replace mu by rho A so to find the velocity let us directly put in the values V equals to tension we have just found out 3.84 into 10 to the power 7 into the area A divided by mass per unit length that is Rho, what is rho? 9.2 into 10 to the power 3. So 9.2 into 10 to the power 3 into area. So area and area will cancel out. And root 3.84 divided by 9.2 will give 0 0.646 into 10 to the power 2. So it is basically equals to 64.6 meter per second. So we have found out the velocity and having a look at the option. It clearly matches our option A. So our option A, 64.6 is the right answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.